Ah, this table has been taken over by Dr. Eggman. I challenge anyone to stop me. Sorry, I'm late. What, what is that? It's Squirrelbot 3000. He doesn't show up very often, but when he does, look out. <laughs> Squirrelbot 3000? Meh, I don't worry. I am the true mechanical genius here. I think I better reconsider trying to take over this table. <laughs> Good job, Squirrelbot! On the table, Sonic Boom Toys, Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman, and fancy Sonic Boom metallic figures, Sonic Shadow Dr. Eggman, with hero cards included. First, checking out this awesome action-packed playset, we have Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman with an Eggmobile that explodes and fires missiles. The Eggmobile toy being one heavily underdeveloped, there are so many toy ideas that that thing could do. And check out Sonic on his hoverboard with those green shades. On the back of the package, a overly excited kid showing us the contents of this box in action plus other figures available. This open style package should be quick to remove these toys. When I said easy to remove, what I really meant was horrible excruciating time with serious laceration possibilities. Go slow. So we have Sonic and Dr. Eggman outside of the package. I really like how cool Sonic looks on this board. It's gotta be those shades. I like also on the board is there's several spots to peg him in. We've even got a central peg, so you can kind of set him up in different ways. And these pegs are nice because they're a little taller and they kind of hold him in there pretty good. Sometimes peg toys don't have enough to stand your figure on and they just keep popping off. Anyhow, we also have rollies on this thing. Oop, get his foot back on there. We also have rollies on this thing. Gives it some rollability for the action feature. This is a fairly smooth table. Maybe overly smooth. So sometimes it's hard to grip things, but... I'd say it has good rolly feature. It's probably going to be more of a slide roll attack. But it works pretty well. And it is a fun action style Sonic figure. Then we have Dr. Eggman in his exploding Eggmobile. A little more equipped than your standard just Eggmobile by itself. Looks like we've got some sort of leggage on there with wheels. These back wheels don't want to turn. Oh, I don't think they turn at all. They kind of look like they want to, but they're really not. It's just how the plastic is built. For some reason you see this little seam here and you think, oh, these wheels are going to turn, but no, the wheels are solidly into this whole thing. I guess that's where the plastic line goes in the seamage of thingage. So there is the Eggmobile, looks pretty fun. Dr. Eggman up top, pretty dusty in there. This toy must have been on shelf for quite a while now. I just saw it the other day and thought, oh, this looks kind of fun. I haven't checked out Sonic in a while. Get his arm down so you can see him better. So I'm thinking this part right here is where you're going to want to hit him. It looks like there is a latch here of sorts that's going to explode Dr. Eggman. So we're going to set him right here. We're going to test out Sonic's attack. It's all about targeting here. I think the only thing this toy is missing is some sort of launcher that you could launch Sonic with. That would help a little bit, but let me give it a shot here. Oh, Sonic, are you okay? You have to aim me better, Dan. Okay, okay. All right, let's go for the second try. Haha. -ha. I think I got more hurt than Dr. Eggman. Yeah, you kind of did, Sonic. The two panels have blown off. Poor Sonic has gone flying too. Looks like we didn't get the projectiles to fly. I think there's these little side buttons that are probably gonna fire those, yep. So if you want to fire those, you got to put your thumb back there. 
There we go. This one's faulty. There we go. It's a little bit loose. I thought Eggman was supposed to fly, but I think he was pegged down too tightly and maybe holding on to his controls a little bit. On our second try, we'll just kind of set him in here more gently. Maybe we can get him to go flying too. All right, so I've reassembled Eggman and this time I've just placed him on top. Maybe he will get a chance to fly too. Sonic, are you ready to go again? Just give me a push and I'll take him out. All right, here we go. One, two. That didn't feel right. Yeah, so far this is doing way more damage to Sonic than it is Dr. Eggman. This thing is a pretty heavy toy and I think the physics will say that it will survive way more often than Sonic will. But it's pretty neat to see. I think the only other Eggmobile I have is just your standard without any gadgets coming off of it. And again, I'd sure like to see a lot more different style Eggmobiles. Something with a ball that swings from the bottom like classic Sonic. Something cool, so I need to get to work on those. The toy though fits together pretty well. It's pretty simple and is a good display piece for your Dr. Eggman character. And one more thing about Sonic I just noticed while goofing around, he also has a peg hole in that hand. So if you want to do something with the board and his hand, now we can attack like so. Want to give it a try, Sonic? Not really. I kind of just want to go home now. Well, we'll give it a shot. Oh, dear. And last time. Ah. Perhaps I should work on my aiming. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You couldn't hit me when you're right in front of me. There we go. Best hit yet. Yeah. I'm done here. Note to self, don't taunt Sonic. Now let's look at what you probably would have rather wanted to see, the Sonic Boom metallic figures with the hero cards. This box style done up similar to the, uh, was that, 25th anniversary figures. I like the background there, very jungle terrain game-like. And on the back here we've got the three standing and some of those metallic cards. So let's get these out. And outside of another very difficult to remove from package, we have the metallic figures. Love the look of the metallic figures. They're just the right balance of paint and metallic shininess. Sometimes they go a little too far with them, but these are looking great. So far my guess is that they are pretty much repaints of past figures. If there's any difference, it's going to be really subtle. I'm usually not that great at detecting. But I'm going to say Sonic looks very similar to just the normal Sonic Boom Sonic, which is on the table right now. Notice this is not the one we started with, with the awesome shades. Shadow, also really cool to see with the metallics. I seem to have misplaced my normal shadow figure so I can't really compare them today. Great looking figure. And I think this is one of my most favorite Dr. Eggmans. I really like the look of the darker red jacket. This was the Dr. Eggman from earlier in the video. He's really loose. And actually I have another Dr. Eggman here from a past set who looks a little more glossy, but they all look really similar. Sorry, chap. It was my fault. I'll help you up. No, no, let me do it. No, I better not, because I'm going to fall over. Oh, dear. So the metallic figures are looking really good. These will play and display well if you collected your 25th anniversary metallic figures. Of course, I kind of overplayed with these guys. Their joints are getting a little loose. They're probably more meant for staying in the package, but a fun group of figures. So we also have hero cards included. Sonic, basically just kind of a shiny card on a cardboard like backer. Nothing too special, not even some like interesting fun facts like what kind of food Sonic likes to eat, uh, what's his favorite combo move, that sort of thing. Nothing really going on there. There's shadows. Cool that they're metallic. You could probably like put some tape on them or something and stick them somewhere. That would probably not be smart. And Dr. Eggman. Kind of like Dr. Eggman here with his sinister actions. 
Not as exciting. I think the uh, coins we got with the 25th anniversary figures were much more exciting. I love how they have little dates on them. A heavy, heavy metal. I wish that was something they continued with. Uh, these are some of my favorite pieces not to stick into the Pepsi machine down the block. So that's your metallic figures. I would suggest these for any huge Sonic collector, but I would probably say leave these in the package. They look so much better. And then remove and play with the more play-ready toys like the one earlier in this video. Look out! Nice going, dull Sonic. You're welcome. Now if you could spare a ride to an emergency health clinic. Will do, Sonic. Sonic Boom, Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman, and Sonic Boom metallic figures are mostly on Toys R Us shelves, and each set runs about 20. If you're all about exploding Eggmobiles, Sonic Boom has got you covered. And if you like to dress in fancy metallic, Sonic Boom has you covered there too. Just try not to get the shiny metallic in the eye, or you might be joining Sonic in the emergency health clinic as well. That's what I have to say about that. It's not that shiny. Ouch. Can I get a ride to the clinic too? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Just one shot ought to do it. Ready, aim. Dr. Eggman, how come we never got one of these cool coins? No, you fool! I pressed the trigger! I'm gonna need to see those designs on Squirrelbot 3000. Gonna build me a few.